be greeted in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank God that you are here this morning. My special greetings to our lead pastor, our mother. We thank God for your life and for what you are learning from her. God using her. So we thank God for her. Can we appreciate God for this gift that he has given us? And I greet all the servants of God. Those who are watching us. And everyone who has come here this morning. And we thank God. In such a weather. Weather eh? Some people may decide not to go to church. But look, you are here. Because you know who you are. We serve a God of all seasons. Seasons are not the same. But God, will, but God will never change. Hallelujah. Amen. If you seek, if you are a child of God, you seek God in every season. Hallelujah. Amen. Can you wave your hands? We bless the Lord. You are wonderful. Can you clap hands for yourselves? Just to come in the house of God. You did well. I believe and trust that God will bless you. Through his word. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise Jesus. Amen. The theme of our message. It says, allow yourself to pass through. Allow yourself to pass through. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise Jesus. Amen. It's my prayer that by the end of this message, each one of us may be encouraged. The main reason why we come here and, and fellowship and gather in the presence of God is that we may be empowered so that even when we go out, will be able to stand. Hallelujah. Amen. We don't come religiously, but we come wanting to learn something. You are here to be equipped so that you stand in your family, at your workplace, or wherever you go. So you are here to be empowered so that you may represent Christ in the best way. Hallelujah. Amen. Because it won't, it won't make sense. If I come here, I listen to the word. When I go back home, if there were conflicts between me and my, my wife, or whoever, so when, when after the service, I may be empowered. I must be empowered so that as I go out people must see that this person something is happening. What I'm saying is that the word of God must change us. Every service must equip us so that we become better people in our community in our families or wherever we go. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to get a church. There are things that we face as Christians as we live. Most of these things that we face they are difficult. It can be in marriage or life in general. But that does not mean that God does not see. God is everywhere. God knows everything. His eyes are everywhere. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise Jesus. Amen. So regardless of what you are going through, it is not taking God by surprise. God is all-knowing. Are you going through something? Hallelujah. Amen. Are you passing through something? I am here to tell you that in this life we go through things. Hallelujah. Amen. We pass through. 
No, no situation is permanent. What are you going through? Whatever you are going through, it is not permanent. I know something that will last forever. It is the word of God. The word of God is permanent. So whatever you might be going through this morning, hallelujah, amen. No, that is not permanent. As long as you are called the child of God. But I've realized something. That when you go through situations, it depends how that situation came. For you to experience whatever you're experiencing, you must sit down and look at your life. Or let me say, you must take a stock to say, where am I? Why am I going through what I'm going through? Hallelujah. Amen. Because it's not every situation that you go through. That is from the devil. And it's not every situation that is allowed by God that you may go through it. Hallelujah. Amen. So there are two sources of challenges or difficulties that you go through. Some are allowed by God. Some is the devil will be tormenting you. Some will invite them on our own. Hallelujah. Amen. So I must sit down and check why am I going through what I'm going through? Have I not invited this situation? Hallelujah. Amen. I believe that by the end of this message, someone will look at your life. Hallelujah. Amen. Remember the theme says allow yourself to pass through. Let's go to the word of God. Psalm 105. Psalm 105. Verse 16 to 19. 16 to 19. Yes. Psalm chapter 105. Mm. 16 to 19 in NIV. It reads as follows. He called down of food. And he sent a man before them, Joseph, sold as a slave. They bruised his feet with shackles. His neck was put in irons. Till what he foretold came to pass. Till the word of the Lord proved him true. Can you also read Isaiah 43, verse 1 and 2? Isaiah 43. Verse 1 and 2. Verse 1 and 2. Mm. Still in an NIV, it says, But now this is what the Lord says. He who created you, Jacob, he who formed you, Israel, do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by name. You are mine. Verse 2. When you, pr when you pass through the waters, I will be with you. When you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep you over. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. Father, we thank you for the reading of your word. May you empower us and we pray, Father, that you breathe upon your word. In the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus Christ, we thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Amen. Where we have read in Psalms, it is about Joseph. In that Psalms 105, Psalms 105. verse 16 to 19. 16 and 19. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise Jesus. Amen. This man Joseph, he had a dream. But he had to pass through difficulties. The Bible says that he had to be proved. In NLT, NLT, the Bible says that God tested his character. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise Jesus. Amen. Joseph, Joseph is a good example. Like I said, that the situation that we face, they can be, they can come from the people that are close to us. From our workplaces. Or wherever. But here, this man, Joseph, 
you experience many challenges from family, people that were close to him. Hallelujah. Amen. But the Bible says that you have to be tested. You have to be proven and approved by God. But when you look at us today, as Christians, many of us believers, we don't want to face difficulties. But I'm here to say to you that all those situations, they must make us strong. Hallelujah. Amen. It's rare for someone to, to be great and pass through quiet life. You cannot be great when you pass through quiet life. Are we together? Amen. I have, I have seen people. I have seen great people. The people that we call great today, they have passed through something. So that's why I'm saying you cannot pass through quiet life and be a great person tomorrow. Hallelujah. Amen. When these difficulties come, they introduce you to yourself. They expose you to yourself to know who really you are. Because men of us, we may think we are strong. We are people of faith. But unless you are confronted by a situation, how will you see your strength? Hallelujah. Amen. Praise Jesus. Amen. Jesus wants us to be empowered. He gave us an example to say men of us we desire gold. You know gold is shining. But it has to go through a process. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise Jesus. Amen. Gold has to go through processes. Because men of us we desire it. It's shining. Hallelujah. Amen. But it has to go through processes. You that you desired, you must know that it has gone through processes. So same as children of God, there are processes that we have to go through. This is what I've learned when it comes to the things of God, you cannot bypass processes. There are things that you have to go through. Look at Joseph. He had to be sold. A lot of things was done to him. He went to jail. He was sold. But look where he was. Look where he ended. So even us as children of God, I've learned that in life, each one of us, we have got your own chapter in life that you have to go through. There are seasons that you have to go through as a person or as a family. It's a pity that all those difficulties, all those challenges that we face, they have to come through people. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise Jesus. Amen. If God wants to do something to you, he does it through people. If also the devil wants to do something to you, he also uses people. But I want to encourage you to say no matter what you go through, no matter, what, no matter who says what to you, whether in the house of faith, but you must know your standing. Hallelujah. Amen. Our together church, Amen. you are tested your character is tested so that you may be qualified. I hope you are getting what I'm saying. Amen. Challenges, they introduce us to ourselves. Some of us, we are not genuine. Some of us, we are fake. 
But when you come across those difficulties, that's when you see who you are. That's where you see where you are standing. Hallelujah. Amen. Are we together? Amen. That's when you see the power of God. When you face difficulties, Jesus never promised us that in this life it will be one season. Hallelujah. Amen. Are we together, church? Amen. I say seasons are, are different. In our walk, there are those days where everything is good. There are also those days where things are difficult. To each one of us, we face challenges. We face difficulties. No one is immune to difficulties and challenges. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't think it's only you who go through challenges. All of us will go through challenges. But how you respond, it's what matters. Some of us, we show it in our faces. We can tell that this person is going through difficulties. But I'm here to tell you that all of us will go through challenges. But how you respond is what matters. Hallelujah. Amen. When you come out of a challenge, you must come out being a better person. Are we together? Amen. So those challenges must strengthen you. Must build you. So that you come a better person. After a challenge. In Isaiah where we read, God told us, that even when we go through waters, when we pass through fires, I will be with you. So whatever you go through, God is with you. You are not forsaken. Are we together? Amen. Like I said, the final stage of gold is not the same as its beginning. You like 100% juice. You like orange juice. For it to become juice, the orange has to be squeezed. It has to go through processes. So there are things in life that squeeze us. But by the end of the day, you must come out being a better person. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you getting what I'm saying? But many of us, we don't want to go through processes. Many of us, we want to be used by God. Man is going through a process of God. It cannot happen. Do you want to be used by God? Can I say those want to be used by God? Are you ready to go through that process? You want to be great, you want to be big. But there are processes that you have to go through. But many a times we just want to be, to be there before you go through. So allow yourself to go through. Allow yourself to be squeezed. Squeezing is not, is not, is not good. It is rough. It is tough. So as a child of God, no matter how you are squeezed, but at the end of it, we must enjoy you. Hallelujah. Amen. Are we together? Amen. Are we together, people of God? Amen. So you cannot bypass the process of being squeezed. You want to be used by God. Allow God to work on you. Imagine Joseph. Joseph. He is there now. He is, he, is, he is the governor. Imagine if he was someone who was bitter, who was angry of what the, of what the brothers did to him. Someone who is full of unforgiveness. 
But look at him. All those situations, they had to prepare him. So some of the things that we go through, they are there to prepare us, to make us strong. Look at King David. When Saul wanted to kill him, when he was given an opportunity, when the opportunity came, to can do something to him. But he said, no, I won't touch the anointed of God. Look at the King Jesus Christ. Our Lord. Look what he went through. But I thank God that some of the things that he went through, he went through them for us. On our behalf, so that we may not go through them. But we have got our own portion. You have your own portion that you have to go through. But what I know, as I read the word of God, that whatever you have to go through, it has been tested. It has been weighed by God. It is not above your strength. God is not cruel. God knows your strength. God knows your weaknesses. So he cannot allow something that, that is beyond your strength. He is not cruel. He is not cruel. Hallelujah. Amen. Are we together? Are you facing difficulties in your marriage? What are you, what, what are you facing? What is it before God? So that's why I said some of the things just have to come to yourself, to your senses and look and try to trace and look, when did things begin to go wrong? How did it start? If it was your mistake, you have to go back and say, and seek the face of God, and say, Lord, forgive me. I have learned my lesson. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise Jesus. Amen. There is, there is one man, David. I understand why he was the beloved of God. I understand why he was loved so much by God. Because he would understand all the seasons that he was going through. He said it was good that I was afflicted. But we today, can you say it is good that I was afflicted? David says it was good David, that I have been afflicted. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody say it is good. It is good. That I went through what I went through. That I went through what I went through. Hallelujah. Amen. It is good. That you went through what you went through. David says. David it was good that I was afflicted. Oh, can, we, can, we read, can we read there? Psalm 119, verse 71. Psalm 119, verse 71. Verse 71. In, in NIV, it says, It was good for me to be afflicted so that I might learn your decrees. Can you repeat it? Re listen to this. Yes. It was good for me to be afflicted uh -huh. so that I might learn your decrees. It was good that I was afflicted so that I may learn your decrees, so that I may learn how you do things. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise Jesus. Amen. So in whatever you go through, there must be a lesson. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise Jesus. Amen. Our together, church, Amen. whatever you go through, draw lessons out of what you go through. You don't, you don't just pass through something for nothing. Wherever you are, whatever situation you are in now, there is a lesson to be learned. Hallelujah. Amen. Some of us, God is preparing us. You cannot be used by God if you are not usable. Hallelujah. Amen. So you, you must 
You must be usable for you to be used by God. And many of us who are used by God, not because we are fit, but for the sake of God's people. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise Jesus. Amen. We serve God who cares for his people. People want to shine. Minus being polished. Allow yourself to be polished by God. So that you may shine. Hallelujah. Amen. You must be spiritual fit. So some of these situations that we go through. They make us to be spiritual fit. So that you may also develop a spiritual stamina. Stamina. A spiritual stamina so that whatever comes your way you are able to handle it. You are able to deal with it. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise Jesus. Amen. Yes, I said each one of us there are chapters that we go through. So the chapter that you are going through now what is it written? Hallelujah. Amen. Because life is in chapters. Jesus said to go through his own chapters. And every chapter about your life has to be fulfilled. Hallelujah. Amen. I went together, church. Amen. You may be thinking he doesn't know what I'm going through. But I want to, you to be encouraged to say whatever you go through. There are lessons to be learned. I have also learned from, from the word of God. The servants of God were Paul. The apostles. Paul says that we are pressed on all sides. But we are not cast down. Hallelujah. Amen. So as a child of God, there are things that you have to go through. And I want to be honest with you that there are specific things that you have to go through them. Whether you like it or not, you have to pass through them. Hallelujah. Amen. They are waiting there. And you have to pass through. If you think it's difficult and you think of drawing back, you are delaying yourself. Even the, even the day you remember of saying, no, I want to go through, you will still find it waiting for you because you have to go through it. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise Jesus. Amen. Can you also read the book of First Corinthians chapter 3? As I'm closing. First Corinthians chapter 3, verse 12. First Corinthians chapter 3. Yes, verse 12. Verse 12. In NIV it says, If anyone builds on this foundation using gold, silver, costly stone, wood, hay, and straw, their work will be shown for what it is because the day will bring it to light. It will be revealed with fire and the fire will test the quality of each person's work. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise Jesus. Where we read, the Bible says that every work will be tested with fire. Hallelujah. Amen. All the works that we do, will be tested through fire. And it says that the one that will stand after going through fire and the builder will be given the rewards. So even all of us here we have to go through some fires. But at the end of the fire that you go through you must be found Standing. Hallelujah. Amen. Are we together? Amen. Is someone equipped? Okay, let me read the book of Ezekiel chapter 24, verse 15. I want to show you something here. In NIV it reads, The word of God, the word of the Lord came to me, son of man, with one blow, 
I'm about to take away from you the delight of your eyes. Yet do not lament or weep or shed any tears. Groan quietly, do not turn, do not mourn for the dead. Keep your turban fastened and your sandals on your feet. Do not cover your mustache and beard or eat the customary food of mourners. So I spoke to the people in the morning and in the evening my wife died. The next morning I did as I had been commanded. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Here is prophet Ezekiel. God is telling him that I'm going to take the delight of your heart. God was referring to the wife. So I'm going to kill your wife. Okay, let me say, I'm, he said your wife is going to die. And yet do not mourn. Hallelujah. Amen. So he had to go through this. But it does not mean that God did not love him as a prophet. There are things that we have to go through. There are unchangeable things in this life. But we have to be prepared to go through. Even the famine that was declared where, 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 when Joseph ended up becoming a governor it had to come. There are things in this life you cannot pray them away. You cannot pray and say, no, they must go. No amount of prayer can stop them. But you just have to be prepared. Are we together, church? Amen. You have to be prepared you have to be equipped to face them and to go through them. Hallelujah. Amen. We don't want balloon kinds of Christians. You know a balloon. It's big. But a small, a nickel can, if you just pierce it, it shrinks. So we want people of God who can stand. But men of us just small discomfort. Small discomfort. You surrender. I'm leaving this marriage. No, I cannot stand this job anymore. Hallelujah. Amen. You have to pass through something. I've seen also the students people who are learned they have to pass through discomfort what discomfort am I talking about they spend sleepless nights studying. but look at the end you see them great they pass through something they have to sacrifice some nights. Hallelujah. Amen. So even I, if I say I want to be full-time serving God, I must spend my time digging the things of God, reading this word. I must deny myself some pleasures. Hallelujah. Amen. Are we together, church? Amen. So that I may become a better person. So you go through. But at the end, I know I will shine. So same with you whatever you go through, as long as you did not invite it to yourself, you will go through. Just seek the face of God.